Hey, I'm Dr. Christopher McGowan, triple board certified physician and obesity medicine specialist. And today is an exciting time in obesity treatment as we see the rapid development and introduction of truly game-changing weight loss medications. Currently, the two most effective medications are Wegovy, or semaglutide, and Zepbound, which is Trizepatide. So Wegovy was FDA approved for obesity treatment in June 2021, and with the recent FDA approval of Zepbound for obesity, many people wonder how are these two medications different and how do they compare? So let's dive into how each medication works, the potential side effects, and how effective they are. First, let's look at how these medications work. So both semaglutide and terzepatide are polypeptides that boost naturally occurring hormones in the body. Both medications increase glucagon-like peptide 1 levels, which control weight through the brain and digestive tract. Now, higher GLP-1 levels lead to reduced appetite and prolonged satiety, so they impact both your hunger and how long you stay full. They also help manage glucose levels, making them effective treatments for diabetes. Semaglutide, or Wegovy, only impacts GLP-1. Now on the other hand, terzepatide, or Zepbound, not only targets GLP-1 receptors to boost GLP levels, it also boosts a second hormone called GIP, or glucose-dependent insulinotropic polypeptide. GIP regulates weight through receptors in the brain and fat cells. Now the actions of GLP-1 and GIP are synergistic, boosting each other's effects. Thus, terzepatide combines action at both GLP and GIP-1 receptors. So how are these medications taken? Both medications are taken via a weekly injection under the skin using single-use disposable pens. We increase the dose gradually over a four to five month time period for both medications, reaching a maximum dose of 2.4 milligrams for semaglutide and 15 milligrams for terzepatide. However, their milligram strengths shouldn't be directly compared. So let's talk about side effects. Now, since both medications impact GLP-1, they share similar side effects, including nausea, diarrhea, and constipation. Most side effects are mild and temporary, occurring during the dose escalation period. In the Surmount-1 study of Trizepatide and the Step-1 trial of Semaglutide, around 5-7% to of patients stopped treatment due to these side effects. Rare side effects for both medications could include pancreatitis, gallbladder disease, and gallstones, and they both carry a black box warning related to medullary thyroid cancer, which was a risk seen in rodent studies. Now, anecdotally, some patients report fewer side effects with terzepatide compared to semaglutide. However, this feedback hasn't yet been supported by clinical studies. All right, so let's talk about effectiveness. This is really the crucial question. How much weight will you lose with Wegovy versus Zepbound? So first of all, there are no head-to-head -head studies yet. Lilly Pharmaceuticals plans a 700 patient trial called Surmount 5 to directly address this question, but that is scheduled to conclude in 2025. For now, we rely on the individual randomized trials for each medication. So if you look at the step one trial for Wegovy, the average weight loss at 68 weeks of treatment was 14.9% of body weight with the 2.4 milligram dose. And 32% of patients lost at least 20% of their body weight. In the Surmount 1 trial of Zepbound, the average weight loss at 72 weeks was 20.9% with the 15 milligram dose, and 50% of patients lost at least 20% of their body weight. Based on these studies, terzepatide appears more effective. However, different studies have different patient populations, so direct comparisons really aren't valid. Now, both medications are clearly more effective than previous weight loss medications and produce clinically meaningful impacts on overall health. So let's talk about cost. Now, cost is an essential consideration for both of these medications. Currently, insurance coverage for both Wegovy and Zepbound is limited, making them expensive and difficult to afford without insurance. While prices may change over time, the average monthly cost for both medications is approximately $1,000 or more. That's roughly $12,000 per year. And keep in mind that both medications are designed for long-term continuous use. So stopping them, if they're working, is really not recommended. Very few people can afford this outright without insurance coverage. Now we anticipate that insurance coverage will continue to improve and prices may decline as competition within this space increases. However, that really remains to be seen. At TrueU Weight Loss, we've seen hundreds of patients experience significant success with both of these medications. We recommend patients taking these medications do so under the guidance of an obesity medicine specialist who can help you determine the best option for you. Adding the support of a registered dietitian or health coach for guidance and accountability can help patients maximize the effectiveness of these medications with a comprehensive approach to medical weight loss. In conclusion, there's never been a more promising time for patients who need help managing obesity. These new medications are providing physicians with new and highly effective tools in the fight against obesity.